And welcome to the Friday 208. Uh, we're looking ahead to tomorrow already and tomorrow around midday. There are a lot of people expected into the downtown Boise area because there are competing rallies set for Saturday. The topic guns. The group March for Our Lives Idaho is hosting an event to talk about gun violence and gun law reform. And after that event was announced, another group called the Idaho Liberty Dogs organized a counter event entitled Keep Your Hands Off Our Second Amendment Rights. Now, the contrast tomorrow will be a microcosm of the conversation going on nationwide, which was reignited by a school shooting in Texas in recent weeks that left 21 students and teachers dead. Now, the group March for Our Lives Idaho is organized by local high school students who say they shouldn't have to go to school with the fear that there will be a mass shooting on their campus. Ahead of the march tomorrow, I spoke with the co-director of March for Our Lives Idaho, and we talked about the message and goals for the event tomorrow. We also discussed the counter protest planned and, of course, the concept of misconception when it comes to debating the high intensity topic of guns in America. Center stage on Saturday in Boise, competing rallies at the state capitol. March for Our Lives Idaho is taking to the state capitol to demand action from lawmakers in response to continued mass shootings across the country. It's really important to have some sort of action item or multiple action items that people can take right then and there to make action and start making change on what, what change we're calling for. Amaya Clayton, a senior in high school, is the co-director for March of Our Lives Idaho. In organizing the event, Clayton says they found clear misconceptions about what changes they're calling for. At least one counter group, the Idaho Liberty Dogs, claims that, quote, their Second Amendment rights are under attack and that they need to show these anti-gun activists that Second Amendment rights are going nowhere. According to their social media posts, they also imply that March for Our Lives is trying to get rid of guns altogether, saying, quote, banning guns doesn't and won't save lives because criminals will always have access to them. Clayton says that's just not true. No, that's absolutely not what we're about. Um, we believe value the Second Amendment and we value Idaho's hunting culture. We recognize how important it is. Um, we recognize the importance of having a gun. So what we're really calling for at the end of the day is safe and responsible ownership. We don't want to take your gun away. We just want you to be able to have it safely, to be responsible with it, um, and to ensure people who shouldn't have guns shouldn't have them. Clayton says it is frustrating to see counter groups like the Liberty Dogs plan a separate event, adding that one of the goals for their group is to work with gun owners on ideas to make everyone safer. It's kind of amazing to me how these adults are going to show up to a, um, a march that we as high school students have planned um, with their firearms. And it just is kind of odd to me that we're just standing here saying that we don't want to get shot and that we need to see something happen so that we don't have to be afraid to go to school. Um, and adults are just like, OK, we're going to bring our guns and stand there. The Liberty Dogs Facebook page does reiterate and make it clear that they want a peaceful gathering on Saturday with people standing in solidarity with them. With that said, March for Our Lives Idaho understands that the public exchange of ideas is part of our American system. Still, they have a goal to make changes to promote safety. What can you do? Everybody has free speech. Everybody has their um, opportunity to show their opinions. I did reach out to the Liberty Dogs group on Facebook to learn more about their event for tomorrow and to ask them kind of what their priorities and what their message is. I did not receive a message back this afternoon. Again, the march and the counter protest is scheduled for tomorrow around noontime, so you can likely expect some extra traffic in the downtown Boise area tomorrow around that time.